Hi, this is another CJ and MP tutorial. Today we are going to teach you how to make a 3D video in iMovie 09 or iMovie 11. I'm going to be using iMovie 09, but it is exactly almost the same as iMovie 11. It is iMovie 11 just has more stuff than this. So this will still work. Um, but normally with our tutorials, it's just completely in iMovie. But um, for this one, it's also going to require some other techniques um, for the filming of it itself. So um, we're going to show you our setup right now. Okay, so what we have here is we have our two cameras side by side, about eyes distance apart, because that's how 3D works. Um, you can make your own tripod by putting a piece of wood with two screws, eyes distance apart, and putting your cameras on that. But essentially this right here is the setup. Okay, um, now that we're back from showing you how to set it up with your two cameras, uh, like we have here, um, you're gonna take your two, you're gonna upload both your clips. So you have your one of, that's just me throwing a hat, and this is the other one of me throwing a hat. But as you can see, it's the exact same clip. Uh, this one's a little worse quality because I filmed it with my, like, Mac eyesight because at the time, I didn't really have access to another, like, tripod and camera and all that, um, so I just, so they're kind of the same, this one's a little different because it has black bars, um, but, uh, so, I'm just going to show you now how to record, how to make your 3D movie, okay. So first what you're going to do, you're going to take your one clip, select it, um, and it's going to have to be the same length as the other, but you can edit that. Um, you're going to click E and just put it up in your project up here. Um, then if you have, you don't have to click E, you can drag it, but you know. Then you're going to have to go into iMovie, Preferences, and like all my other tutorials, Activate Advanced Tools. Um, you're then going to take, so now that you have your advanced tools, you're going to have more options for editing your videos, which is actually nice, doing whatever you're doing. So you're then going to take your next clip, select it, drag it over top at the very beginning and click cut away. Now I haven't really used this in any of my tutorials but I found out that it's actually really nice. Okay, So like I said you're gonna have to edit it um, to make them around the same length. These aren't exactly. Um, but when you first put on cut away it's, it just completely goes on top of the clip and you can't see the other clip so it's like the other clip wasn't even there. Um, but that's obviously not what we want. Um, and if you've seen our 3D picture tutorial, um, you'll see a lot of similarities between the two because essentially it works on the exact same principles as each other. Um, so you're going to take your other clip and you're going to double click on it and put it to around 55, like in our other tutorial. And as you can see now, you have kind of your, it's like scene doubles because our eyes, they technically see doubles, but our mind combines them and creates one vision with uh, per, with uh, depth and stuff like that. And so that's what 3D is doing, is it's combining the two colors, and so your mind thinks it's seen depth, but in reality, it's, in reality, it's not, so you're tricking your mind. But what you're going to do, you're going to put um, how like clear it is, the opacity, to 100%, because we're going to be changing the colors. Now, I'm going to use blue and um, yellow for this because I don't have any blue and red 3D glasses. And actually, blue and yellow is, I find, quite a bit nicer because what it actually does is it keeps the color, sorry, it keeps the color of the picture um, instead because with blue and red, sometimes it can take away the color kind of and it'll just look gray and it wouldn't look good. So I'm going to use yellow and blue. Um, so here, if you're going to do yellow, you're going to put it to around here. You're then going to take away all the blue, take away some of the green because most of the time it's kind of a darker yellow. Um, and you can play around a little bit with the red. Um, and you can play around with these all the time, obviously. I'm going to put that to that because I'm just eyeing this. To test it, what you can do is you can just take your 3D glasses and just put one of the lens, like close your one eye, put one of the lenses over, and see if you can see a change in the color. If you can't, that means it's the exact color, and that is what you really want. Um, 
So again, you can adjust the brightness, the exposure, the contrast, everything like that. But I'm not going to do that because this is just for a test to show you. Um, you're then going to, so you have your yellow clip. You're then going to double click and put it completely transparent. So now you just have your other clip, which is um, like, it has no color on it. As you can see, you can't see the yellow. And you're going to go to that one and click double click and then go to video and put it to a blue. Obviously, add... 100% blue. Um, you can you have to keep green, but take away the red. Um, that will give a blue effect. You blue is normally darker too, so that's kind of around what it is. Again, you can play with con play with the contrast and all the other options there. Um, so now you have your blue and your yellow clip, which is on the top. Um, you're gonna double click the other one, and you're gonna put it to around. 56 55 percent so now you have your two clips but they're not really lined up as you can see they're above each other you don't want that you want them side by side more um, and as you can see my clips are exactly adjusted so they're synchronized so it'll work so you're gonna click on one just click the C key to crop and you can move it up or down um, this one it's a little closer now click that move it up a little more um, the blue one is the one on top, so I'm going to have to actually move that down. And you, it's easier to find something that's kind of like a point of, um, I didn't do this in advance, so it will take a while to do this. Actually, right here, I got it. That's convenient. Um, so as you can see now, there's a slight difference. You might have to, um, move it to the side and crop that. But like I said, this is just for a tutorial, and you guys can always fine-tune it, obviously. Um, so now that you have your clips, that is actually, that's it. You have your 3D. Um, normally, when you'd have 3D glasses on, this would look kind of 3D. But just a warning of when you're doing this, um, when it goes really close to the camera, like this toque does, as you can see here, it's really separated the two pictures you don't want that so just try to avoid going too close to the camera you can go like here but don't go really close because you'll lose the 3d effect and it won't look 3d anymore um, i really hope that this tutorial helped um, if you have any questions for some reason it didn't work just comment below and i'll try to answer you um, other than that just thank you rate comment subscribe thumbs up favorite all that good stuff um, and yeah, just leave suggestions for more tutorials in the bottom, and we'll see you next time.